Oh yeah? Do you want to go see some MC Escher art? Come on. Uh, I'm hungry. Okay, so I might have realized that I was hungry, so now I'm at a cafe. I didn't get a straw. I'm just gonna read for a bit. Okay, I made it. This is a good sandwich, I had a good sandwich, I had a nice coffee, and now I'm at Escher in the Palace. The building has quite a history as far as I know, but I'll let voiceover Will do that. You're welcome. Big fan of MC Escher. Actually, fun story, I used to live in Seoul, and when I lived in Seoul, the artwork in this place went on tour around the world. And it was in Seoul when I was in Seoul, and I went to see it. Then, about a year later, I was here, it was like 2019, and I went to see this. So me and Escher, we visit each other quite often. Best mates. Right, brilliant, thank you Will. Hiya. Voice over Will here. I have a cat purring at my feet. The building was built in 1760 something by Peter de Zwart, and it was for the mayor of Slotten. But the reason it's called a palace is because it was eventually bought by the Queen Mother, which happened in 1896. She bought it for some reason and had it extensively rebuilt. In 1901, she came here after the marriage of Queen Wilhelmina and they did lots of renovation to it, so I guess now it's a palace. There you go, read that off the website. Hey, look, there's Will trying to be cheeky. Very cheeky. Okay, wait for this. Have you played Obra Dinn? It's a video game. That is Obra Dinn. Tell me that's not Obra Dinn. If you've seen Obra Dinn, let me know in the comments. Surely this piece of art by MC Escher must have inspired the Obra Dinn video game's art style, right? Okay, so um, when you begin, when you walk around, you see a lot of pretty ordinary art. Like, it's realism, I guess. And as you go, things get weirder and weirder and weirder. So here you've got one of his famous self-portraits. Uh, you saw another one at the beginning. This one is really, really iconic. Uh, what's it called? Hand with Reflecting Sphere. Yeah, so that's an iconic one. And then he did another one. This is him again. Kind of a self-portrait. And we're starting to get into Stranger Territory. There's Will, being cheeky again. Cheeky. Okay, so uh, the palace itself is gorgeous and it's worth coming here for the palace as well as the art because the rooms really are beautiful and sometimes kind of gaudily decorated and I love that. So here you can see him starting to play with mathematics, geometry maybe, I'm not good with those big words. And yeah, this tile motif, okay, so he was hired to do the tile motif at a house in Rome. How cool is that? So he's starting to get known for his geometric patterns and twisty stuff. And here, this is a whole room, a whole wall dedicated to those patterns. All of these are different patterns and every single one is an animal or a piece of nature that is all slotted together in this jigsaw geometry style. Really, really cool that they did this. I think it's gorgeous. Gift shop. Okay, everyone likes a gift shop. Art books, biographies, prints, stuff, t-shirt, there's a t-shirt, that's cool. And I tried to do the sphere thing. This thing costs like 15 euro, I didn't buy it. How metal is that? Brilliant, love that. Bloody, that's what I talked about, I said everything's kind of gaudy, right? Oh, there's Will again. Gordy, big giant skull and crossbones, why? More geometric nature pattern shape things. And this is metal as well, okay? Another metal thing. That, I, do, I don't know. I probably should have read the plaque, but isn't that awesome? Okay, so this is the library of the palace room, blah, 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 it's got more artwork in it, but again, gorgeous little space, worth coming to see the palace as well as the art. And here are some of the most famous Escher pieces, the ones that twist your mind, surrealism, playing with mathematics. This is what he is most remembered for. And also, like, shout out to all of my fellow Berserk fans, because that is Berserk. So, that's great. Berserk, great. Love Berserk. This is what he's best known for, and I love it. And someone made a model, for some reason, of that iconic staircase painting. Again, shout out to Berserk fans. This one's great, love this, look at that. Look at that, brilliant. And this one's iconic as well. The hand drawing itself and cycles and repetition and I don't know. Palace is cool though, look at that. Mm, bit bright, sorry about that. Not bad, eh? Doing all right, look at that, gorgeous. Hello everyone, don't mind me filming. 
And then he gets really trippy. Look at this. This is when he got to his, like, trippiest, I guess. I don't know if this is all in chronological order through his life, but I'm guessing it is. Because it's about growth and experimentation and twisting and pushing yourself and seeing what kind of weird things you can come up with when you've got a mind and a talent like his. This is great. This is completely 360. So you walk into this room and this is in the center and it's just this ongoing metamorphosis of geometric evolution. It's gorgeous, it's so cool. Look at that, look at that! Brilliant. Gone from just tiles to an entire cityscape, love it. And then there's also another one on the wall here. There's a few of them, and this is kind of where we finish. This is the end of the journey. You get to these crazy long metamorphosis thingies, and you have a good time. I hope you had fun on this journey with me. Hi, Will. Huh. <sighs> there's a lot to say. I really hope that voiceover Will did a half-decent job of explaining all this to you. <laughs> Subscribe for books and art and travel and whatever I'm doing right now. Subscribe for me. I'm pretty.